Psalm 57 verse 1 to 8, through the Bible. Psalm 57. Theme, a cry for mercy. This is the second Mictum Psalm, and it has an added title, Altasketh, meaning, destroy not. As we get into this psalm, we will see that it has real meaning. It is inscribed to the chief musician, Altasketh, Mictum of David, when he fled from Saul in the cave. David spent time in the caves along the Dead Sea by Ingedi. It is below sea level and a hot spot during the summer. In the winter, it is a delightful place. It is rugged country. The cave of Adullam is in that area also. It is the belief of many expositors that this psalm has reference to that cave of Adullam where David meditated on many of the psalms that he composed. In them we see that his sufferings foreshadowed the sufferings of Christ and those of the godly remnant during the time of Jacob's trouble. Also these psalms speak to us today, which is the wonder of the word of God. Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me. For my soul trusteth in thee, yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge, until these calamities be overpassed. Psalm 57 verse 1 I don't know about you, but my prayer is the same as David's, O God, be merciful to me. I want God to be merciful to me. I don't want him to be just with me and righteous. If he is, I am going to get a whipping. I want him to be merciful and gracious to me. He is that kind of a God, rich in mercy. He has enough for me, and I am going to require a lot of it, but there will be enough for you also. In the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge, or as Dr. Gabeline has it, in the shadow of thy wings will I find shelter. David experienced this shelter. The nation of Israel did not, however. In Matthew 23 verse 37 the Lord Jesus said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together? Even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Israel has not as yet come under his wings. Are you ready to come under his wings? In other words, be obedient to him, to love him. Jesus said, If ye love me, keep my commandments. John 14 verse 15 And to walk in the Spirit? Now notice these wonderful statements. He shall send from heaven, and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Psalm 57 verse 3 This will be literally fulfilled for the faithful remnant when Christ returns in power and great glory, and they will say, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Isaiah 25 verse 9 My soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Psalm 57 verse 4 Satan goes up and down this world like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 And he has a lot of little lions helping him, by the way. Remember that these mictum psalms have to do with that which is permanent and enduring that which is substantial and lasting. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Psalm 57 verse 7 Then notice this beautiful expression. Awake up, my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. Psalm 57 verse 8 I will wake the morning dawn, is Dr. Gabeline's translation. What a beautiful expression. The night of sin and suffering is over. Satan's rule is finished, and the morning has come. The Son of Righteousness has risen with healing in his wings. How wonderful! What assurance we find in this psalm.